Hi everybody, Michelle here from Quebec Cyclidé, your local fish store in Terrebonne, Quebec, right outside of Montreal. Today it's Fish Store Extreme Makeover Part 4. We are racing against time today. I have a huge shipment of fish coming in tomorrow morning in the early hours where I usually am happy dreaming in my bed and all warm. I'm going to be at the airport receiving my fish. We are going to be emptying all the aquariums behind me. Once that is done, we will be moving these two aquariums. We'll be just taking them down and put them in, putting them in the back. Once the two six-footers have been taken care of and are away from the wall, we will be taking these aquariums down, which will be empty, and we'll be setting them right back up on the wall where the six-footers were. Now this is where we have to really rush against time because we are going to be putting the new fish in these aquariums, so they have got to be ready by tonight. So let's get started. I'm standing in front of my empty wall. The aquariums have been taken down. Now we're gonna start emptying the four aquariums on the wall and fishing out the fish and moving them to other aquariums. Technically, I could put them back into those aquariums, but I'm gonna leave them empty for tomorrow's shipment. I've got three giant tubs uh, in which I'm gonna conserve as much water as I can in order to keep the water parameters. Whatever I'm not able to conserve, I'm gonna to have to compensate with my products to raise the pH and the GH because these are high quality African cichlids that are going into these aquariums and I want them to have a good home. At least the nitrates will be low, right?
so we're done with the fishing part. Let's go acclimate these guys in their new homes and continue just taking the whole wall down. I only had two water accidents, so that's not that bad. I mean, uh, cleaning up the floor, right? I mean, the floor has to be clean. I'll mop it up, it'll be sparkling, ready for the shipment. It was all planned. We're done, we emptied the aquariums. We took off the filters, I took out all the water, I siphoned it till there's nothing left, took out the substrate as well. That's why there's one that's still up on those two by fours because we tilt it to be able to siphon even more water out of it. We're gonna start with the ones on top, we're gonna take them down, put them on the ground. We're gonna take the two on the bottom and put them on top, just tack them there for a moment while we move the racking. Once that's done, we're gonna just set everything back up. Let's do this. Turns out the racking is way too heavy, so we're not going to be able to, to move it just the two of us and I'm not waiting to get another, a bunch of friends and I really, really, really don't want to put, take it down. We're going to use our jack that we have. We're going to lift it up with the jack and roll it to its place. Ben will be holding it on the other end. Not me. I'll be rolling the jack.
everything, a lot of hard work, but we did it. And we did it in one day. It was very important to have this timeline. For one, because of the shipment that's coming in tomorrow. And also, if I did this over a couple days, I would have killed all the bacteria in my filter. So these aquariums had to go up and down, well, down and up, in the same day. We're ready for tomorrow's shipment. That's tomorrow for me, but since you're watching this on Sunday, that's last Friday's shipment. So if you're subscribed to my newsletter, you should be getting an email very soon, within a day or two, with the whole list of cichlids that will be in stock. If you haven't subscribed yet, you can do it anytime. There's a link right in the video description. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up or a comment. I love reading your comments. You can also follow me on social media, on Facebook, Instagram. I have a great website packed with information. Go check it out. So thanks for tuning in. I'll be seeing